it's Mike coming at you with another Planet Coaster Park Spotlight. Thank you for joining me, welcome to the video, and welcome to Golden Capital created by Mr. Snelders. Now today's park is a PlayStation 4 park, and as always, if you do enjoy this video, please make sure to leave a like, leave a subscribe if you are new, and if you would like to have your Planet Coaster Park or Planet Zoo Park showcased on the channel, then make sure to join the Iron Gamers Discord link, the link will be up above or down below right now. Now the description for this park reads, Fantasy City with dueling coasters, two dark rides and a woody enjoy. So a nice, short, sweet description. And for anyone that is new to the channel, don't worry, the Planet Zoo content is still going to be coming. I'm just going back to my roots and now the channel will be focused on both Planet Coaster and Planet Zoo. But if you're not familiar with Planet Coaster, then make sure to stick around because you may really enjoy this one. It's the same game, just with roller coasters instead. So let's hop into the park. Right, so here we are in the park. We've just come out to the entrance tunnel and let's head down towards the car park. So I like the foliage just on either side, the symmetry of it. Oh, we've got a van with no wheels on it. Oh, it's like being back in Stoke again. I'm getting flashbacks. We just need to prop it up on some bricks. <laughs> Oh, we've uh, got a ATM just there. I like how you've done that using the ATM as the ticket meter. That's a really good idea. And we'll come through the gates. We've got the water feature just to our right hand side. So a lot of people who may be new to the channel may not be aware of my obsession with water features. I love water features, okay? Anything to do with water in the planet games, I just absolutely love it. But look at this park. Wow, that is absolutely stunning. That is so beautiful. I could see a wooden coaster off in the background. We've got the two dueling coasters over there. So it appears to be a, I think one is a B&M stand-up coaster from what I could see. I think the other one was maybe a Giovanola coaster, maybe? We'll have a look in a moment. So we've got the golden capital done with the flowers right there. I really like that touch. And let's come through the entrance into the park itself. Oh, this is beautiful. Look at that shot. That is absolutely incredible. We've got the chair plane just to our left here. Oh, this is fantastic. So this is the... I, I've actually lost count. Maybe the fifth maybe even sixth park now that i've sh showcased of mr snelders and he's just continued to get better with every single park the last one that i looked at i was saying that it gave me bioshock infinite vibes and this one is doing the same it looks like a direct sequel to the last park that i showcased but these dueling coasters, they really do draw your gaze. They are such a main staple of the park. And that inversion right there, look. That looks incredible. Are we going to be lucky and see one come past us as we're here? So, yeah, we have got a B&M stand-up coaster. And I'm pretty sure that's a Giovanola inverted roller coaster. And it's just coming around right now. Let's have a look at this. Oh, wow. Oh, that inversion is incredible. It was so smooth. I cannot wait to go on them later on. We'll make sure to leave them till the end of the spotlight. We'll make sure to explore the rest of the park first. I think this is quite a small park, so it shouldn't be too long a spotlight. We've got some more food and drink just over here. And I really like what you've done with the flooring, just covering all that up. We've got a little backstage area just over there. The architecture is on point in this park. And it appears like we've got our first ride over here. So we have Mirage. So I'm not sure what this is, but we've definitely got a queue line. So this must be one of the dark rides. So the description did say we had two dark rides, the dueling coaster and the wooden coaster. So this must be one of the dark rides. So let's have a look. I've got absolutely no idea what this is. It's an extremely busy ride. The queue is full. Go on, move out the way, everybody. Oh, we've got a waterfall just over there. And, oh, we've got a boat ride. Okay. 
I was not expecting that. Really nice shot of the station, how you can look over there and you've got the waterfall just in the background. But as we carry on moving past all of these peasants, move out the way, move, 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 move. And let's come down. This queue line is so busy. A really long queue and absolutely full from end to end. And here we come. Oh, finally, one more turn. <laughs> We're still not there. We're almost there. There we go. We finally made it. So a really nice station. Very open. Very light. And I love that waterfall. But we have the first ride of the park. Let's do it. Enjoy, everyone.
that was absolutely beautiful from start to finish it was just a visual overload for the senses it was so well done the lighting and the set pieces throughout were fantastic yeah absolutely loved that beautiful ride and what a fierce ride of the park that was yep yeah, fantastic really nice way to return to planet coaster because i haven't actually opened planet coaster in over a month this is the first time coming back since Planet Zoo came out, so it's a little bit strange coming back, but it, it's really nice to be back spotlighting again, and yeah, a fantastic way to kick off the spotlights once again. I, I can't get over the architecture of that building there. It's stunning. We've got the plane ride just here, and like I said, the dueling coaster is just such a eye-drawing attraction of the park. It's just everywhere you can see. We've got the wooden coaster just in the background. I think that's a GCI, but we'll have a look as we get a little bit closer. And I really like how the floor has transitioned into this like white marble as you come over here. We've got another beautiful sight line over there just looking at that building. The architecture all the way through is fantastic. And we've got another building over here, which may house the second dark ride. I'm assuming it must do. So we have the Luminous Forest. Oh, this looks stunning. I think we need to swap this to night, don't we? There we go. That's a little bit better. And look at this. Oh, wow. Oh, this is beautiful. And you've got all the fireflies over the water. Follow the fireflies. Yeah, this is fantastic. I really like how it comes underneath. Where is the entrance? Is it back around here? Ah, there we go. I was walking up the exit. So let's have a walk up the queue line. I love all the pinks over there. I can see a sleeping dragon just over there, over the water. And the pink lights really do add to it. And then you walk all the way through these fireflies. Again, just a really beautiful visual treat for the eyes. And as we come through to the station, so a nice short queue line, this one, not like the other. And we've got another boat ride again, look. So two boat rides back to back. So let's go for a ride on this one. Enjoy, everyone. An extremely short boat ride, 
but very much like the first one. It was just a visual overload again. It was so beautiful. All of my feedback and thoughts with regards to the first boat ride, just copy and paste them for that one. It was fantastic. Really short, straight to the point, did exactly what it needed to. Great job. So as we come out of here, let's swap that back today. And let's start heading over towards this wooden coaster. So another really eye-drawing attraction of the park, just set back over here. I really like how it's wrapping around all of the buildings and the, the terrain and the trees there. Yeah, this looks fantastic. So let's start heading down towards that. So the exit must be there just to the right certainly appears to be we've got a just a memento there and oh i love that with the horses right on top of there it looks like of something out of gladiator or something i am maximus are you not entertained right let's start coming down so we have neptune's fury so let's come down the queue line for this one right inside the building as you come through we've got another waterfall this park is really heavily relying on the lights and the water and the terrain and it works really well for it i'm really liking all of the waterfalls around the park and then as you come down the queue line the coaster's just coming around you at all times just building that anticipation we've got another waterfall there again get a really dynamic interactive queue line and a beautiful station once again so let's hop on for a ride enjoy everybody Even though the vertical g-forces were a little bit higher than I may have liked, I think that was a fantastic coaster. It had so many really good elements to that ride. The banking was done really well. I love that first drop, how you're heading down towards the roof, and then you just drop down in between it and underneath. I thought that was absolutely fantastic. Maybe just extend that brake run ever so slightly as it's coming into the station, as it did feel like it came to a bit of an abrupt stop but other than that a fantastic roller coaster really really enjoyed that and this exit queue line is fantastic just with all the trees and the foliage and just walking down through that but i think we're now going to start heading towards the dueling roller coasters so a relatively small park this one it's not taking us too long to get around this one we've got the sky temple right in front of us you don't tend to see sky temples outside of a asian themed park but it works really well in this one you've managed to incorporate it into the park and into the theme of this park really well yep great job and let's come down here i'm going to make sure to have a look at the architecture of that main building after these dueling roller coasters because i really do want to have a look at them 
So let's come through here and we've got the entrances for both of them. So we've got Ruby and Sapphire. So let's have a look at the queue line for Ruby. I think we'll go on both of them back to back, but we'll have a look down the queue lines for both of them first. So we've got Sapphire just over there. But I do want to have a look at the queue lines for both because you've detailed all of the other queue lines in the park so far. Oh, I love how the coaster just comes past you there. That was a nice little touch. A very good timing. Just as we were walking down the queue and it came past. So, got quite a long queue line for this one. We'll follow this all the way down. And we'll loop back around over the lava. We've got more water once again. There's so much water in this park. And here we are in the station. A really nicely done station. Really like that. I love the open feel of it again. You've got the sh chandeliers right above you. And that is the B&M stand-up coaster. And then if we go and very quickly have a look at this queue line before we go for a ride on both of them. So we come through even more water. There is so much water in this park. I am in heaven. I love it so much. And we've got the Giovanola inverted roller coaster, which I did actually think was a B&M invert, but no, it's not. It is a Giovanola. So as we come around here, underneath the station i like that i like how you walk underneath the station and then this brings you up to the station here right let's go for a ride on both of these shall we enjoy If you're looking for dueling roller coasters, then you don't need to look much further than this. That was absolutely fantastic. Both rides were sensational. The way that they interacted with each other was sensational. The inversions were done really well, both really smooth, just fantastic. Absolutely loved it. But before we have a look at the night lighting, I do want to just have a very quick look at these buildings and just appreciate the detail and the architecture in them because 
they're just fantastic this one in particular i love that central column and the design as it comes up that is absolutely fantastic but right we do need to have a look at this park at night so let's very quickly zoom up here and we'll swap that and the night lighting throughout the park isn't actually what i expected there's not really much in the sense of night lighting it was mostly on them dark rides but yeah a fantastic park let's go to our closing thoughts so there we have golden city created by mr snelders and what a park to return to planet coaster with i thought this was absolutely fantastic all the way through the architecture was amazing the dark rides were both beautifully done the sights and the sounds and the visual overload of them both the dueling coasters you couldn't go wrong with them they were done so well and i thought the entire park was fantastic i think this may potentially be your best park yet maybe i'm not sure because the last one was also amazing as well but a fantastic park i really really did enjoy this one you're gonna have to let me know down below in the comments what you all think but i'm gonna be back in a couple of days where i carry on with eden garden zoological park i'll be back next week with more planet coaster spotlights until then take care stay safe look after yourselves and i will see you all very very soon Bye, everybody!